Hi, this is Will here with Drones Made Easy. This is just going to be a short video on how to download uh, and best use the software assistant for the DJI Phantom 2 and the uh, RC assistant also for the uh, DJI Phantom 2. So we're going to start by going to DJI.com, make your way over here to products and uh, select the products then make your way over to the Phantom 2 select downloads and then make your way down to um, the assistant software and driver downloads portion now if you're using a PC you're going to want to download uh, both the Phantom 2 assistant software version 3.8 or the newest that is available uh, and then you're also going to want to download the DJI Win driver installer um, and then you're going to make your way over and uh, you're going to download also the Phantom RC Assistant software uh, version 1.2 or again whatever is the newest uh, software assistant and if you are using a Mac uh, you would do the same thing only you don't have to download the Win driver installer you can just do uh, a straight download of the Phantom 2 uh, Assistant Software version 3.8 or the newest available version uh, and the Phantom RC Assistant Software version 1.2 again or the newest uh, available software version. Uh, now that we have downloaded and installed the RC Assistant and the, uh, the Phantom 2 Assistant uh, we're going to go ahead and calibrate the remote before our first flight. Um, at Drones Made Easy, during all of our bundle sales, uh, you know anything that we test before we send out, this is exactly what we do. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of take you through that process, and uh, in doing this stuff, in calling the remote or calibrating the remote, and calibrating the Phantom 2, um, and doing all the the firmware updates, you know this is uh, important information to have in order to you know maintain a you know healthy flights with your Phantom 2. We're going to power our Phantom 2 remote which is uh, plugged in with the micro USB at the bottom of the controller. Uh, the other side of the USB is plugged directly into my my Mac computer that I'm using here. Uh, we are going to select mode 2. We are going to then select calibration. So we're going to read it, release both sticks and then click on the next button to continue. So you're not touching anything on the Phantom 2 remote right now. Uh, but just remember we're going to do not only the sticks but we're going to do the X1 at the same time or else that's going to throw off our X1 switch which is actually the speed dial uh, or the speed control dial on the top left of the Phantom 2 remote. So we're going to select next and first we're going to do the sticks. We're going to take them to the four corners as far as they'll go nice and slow. A couple times in each direction. I like to go about three times around in each direction. Again, you're just taking them to the four corners, getting the max um, the max movement out in each direction. Then let them center. Then we're going to move up to the X1 switch. You're going to see that moving there on the uh, right side of the screen under X1, taking it slowly to its maximum uh, potential in each direction. And then you're going to select finish. Uh, while we have our remote plugged in here, we're going to move up to info. And just make sure that we're using the most current version of the um, software uh, software assistant for, or sorry, firmware update for the remote control. So we have version 1.2. There are no updates available. We are good to go. Uh, that is it for the RC assistant. Now we're going to move on to the Phantom 2 assistant. So now we are plugged into the Phantom 2 software assistant. Um, I have a fresh Phantom here that's never been updated, uh, so we're going to go ahead and turn it on. Again, we're plugged into the front of the Phantom and the micro USB port. And we are immediately going to go over to the tools menu. And uh, we're going to check out our uh, calibration numbers. And uh, right here you're going to see uh, numbers in 1.5 and 1.4 that is way too high uh, our acceleration numbers are not bad but not where they should be uh, and you're gonna see the compass numbers are very high they are usually around 1000 to 1500 in the mod number uh, but that is because the Phantom is on my desk which is mostly made out of metal 
Um, so we're going to go over here and we're going to run uh, the advanced calibration, which is going to bring our gyroscope number uh, down very close to zero and our uh, acceleration number down very close to 1.00. We're going to click yes on the uh, options here. Uh, it's going to say temperature of MC is too high. Uh, I did just turn this phantom on a couple minutes ago, so it is a little bit hot. Uh, it does like to be uh, on a flat surface with a cold battery. So keep that in mind, but it will still run through uh, this calibration. All right, very nice. So now that our advanced calibration is done, you will see up here that the, uh, the numbers related to the gyroscope uh, in the mod is much closer to zero. Our acceleration number is down to 1.00. Uh, and again, the compass is high due to uh, my metal desk, but uh, this is a much safer and much smoother phantom to fly now because of the calibration we just did. Uh, so through on the top here, you have different options. You have view, uh, you can see different, uh, you know, basically things are related to the control. I am right now playing with the sticks of the Phantom controller. Uh, you can also see the X1 moving up and down. Um, and then you can also see, you know, other information related to, uh, to your Phantom. So you want to get to know this page, um, but a lot of the other stuff that we're going to do here uh, are in some of the other tabs. So right now we're going to go into Basic. Uh, here you can see that we have the upgraded version controller because I'm working on a Phantom 2.0. Um, if you were on a uh, previous version Phantom, you would want to have or have the older controller uh, with the X1 switch that's on the back of the remote, you would want to have selected the basic version transmitter. Uh, you can run calibrations on your X1 uh, right here, and you can also calibrate the controller um, you know, in the P2 assistant uh, after you do it on the RC assistant. I would, I do recommend doing uh, the RC assistant first, then the Phantom 2 assistant. Uh, here you have the option for gains. Uh, we typically leave these in the default uh, mode, which is 125 for pitch, uh, you know, 125 for roll, 120 for yaw, 140 for vertical, uh, and then you can see the altitude gains are a little bit higher. Uh, because they need to be a little bit more aggressive to keep you up in the air. Here you will see in the advanced options you have the selection for gimbal. Uh, I always go ahead and take both of the horizontal limit and vertical limit to the center. That allows for a full forward facing camera and a uh, 90 degree motion down to a uh, camera that faces straight down. Um, so you might want to adjust those and then you'll see on your phantom that you'll get a little bit more motion with your gimbal. If you move over to limits, uh, if you want to switch it over to feet, go ahead. Uh, your vertical limit is going to be set at 394 feet. Um, that is, you know, your FAA, uh, you know, regulated um, height max. And then you're going to get over to what I actually like to make sure I adjust, which is the go home altitude. I like to take this up to at least 100 feet. So type in 100 and then you have to hit return for that to hold. Uh, and now when we go into fail safe mode or uh, return home, it is gonna come home at 100 feet instead of 66 feet, which is important um, if you have you know, high trees uh, in your area. So you know, I like to take that up a little bit. Rolling over to the tools menu, we were just here. This is where you do your basic or your advanced calibrations. Uh, we already did this and uh, the numbers look good. Now we're going to move over to the upgrades. Uh, this is where you will do all your, your latest updates. So again, I'm working with a brand new Phantom from DJI version 2.0 with an H3 3D gimbal. So it comes with the latest version firmware. Uh, you can see here that the GPS uh, does not need an upgrade or an update. Uh, the Phantom 2 receiver does not receive updates and get down here, no updates for the battery, and we are going to run the update for the H3 3D gimbal. So select that, and then you would select the upgrade tab. And yes, we want to run that upgrade. Bring this down more into the field of view.
you can see now that our firmware upgrade for the gimbal is running. So every once in a while you're going to want to plug your Phantom into the software assistant you know, every month or so and see if DJI has released any new firmware for your Phantom 2. Uh, that applies to a Vision, uh, Vision Plus, or the Phantom 2 with its unused gimbal uh, carrying a GoPro. So important to keep your firmwares up to date. So our H3 3D gimbal update was successful. Now we are going to power cycle the Phantom and turn that back on. And we are now going to see under the upgrades tab that we now have the latest version um, firmware update for the H3 3D gimbal. Uh, we are now going to slide over here and uh, show you how to take it from Phantom mode into what's called NASA M mode. Uh, so we're going to select uh, Phantom. We're going to come back down here and we are going to say yes. Uh, and you know, keep in Phantom mode if you're a beginner flyer, but once you have your first couple flights under your belt, uh, NASA mode is definitely going to be uh, more appealing to you. Select yes, select yes, and OK. So we are now in NASA M mode. So what that did is it allowed us to free up uh, some other options here, uh, namely the IOC function. Uh, so we come down here and we will select in, uh, Intelligent Orientation Control. This basically is what uh, unlocks the S2 switch, which is the top left switch on the uh, Phantom 2 remote. Uh, it allows you to use what's called Home Lock, Course Lock, uh, and then the other option is obviously Off. Uh, so right now I'm in Course Lock, I'm in the center uh, switch position. If I drop down low, it's going to put me into Home Lock. I go back to the top, it's going to put me into off. So if you're just looking to do regular flying in GPS mode, you want the S2 switch to be in the off position, and the uh, S1 switch is going to be in the GPS position. And that is about it for updating your Phantom uh, in the software assistant, both for the RC assistant and the Phantom 2 software assistant. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to call Drones Made Easy. Uh, about anything Phantom related uh, or DJI product related. Our number is 844-312-8444. We'd be happy to help you out and uh, we pride ourselves on offering the best service in this business. So give us a call and uh, good luck.